I mean, looking at the gubernatorial race, certainly Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds has talked about a lot as a Republican prospect. If she wants to run um, for governor in four years, what does she need to be doing now? How does she need to position herself? Well, Kim, Kim obviously has, has studied at the feet of the absolute expert on this. And so she's seen firsthand exactly how you do this. What she needs to do now is create some separation between herself and the governor from an organizational standpoint and a, and a fundraising standpoint. So she effectively develops her own team. I mean, it's nice to think that you can sort of transfer the Branstead team from one person to another, but politics never works that way. Mm -hmm. So if Kim has to develop her own following, and she needs to do it right away. And, and how does she do that, technically? You've been chief of staff, mm -hmm. and so you see people doing that. Um, how does she, she stands alongside the governor in, in many public appearances, but she has to do more than that is what you're suggesting. She needs to first stand alone. She needs to identify her own issues and pursue her own issues. That's, it starts with that. And she's already done STEM, which is a good product. But I would broaden that to include education, for example, generally, or some issues like that. Secondly, and Terry Branstad did a masterful job of this. I was working for Bob Ray when Terry Branstad was doing everything but measuring the windows for the, the, the uh, grapes when Bob Ray was still governor. And, and, he, and it offended Bob Ray in a way, but Bob Ray understood and Terry Branstad understood that he had to have his own team. He had to be ready, waiting in the wings, and Kim needs to do the same. Does the, does the governor have to enable that, however, clear the field for her? You know, politics is an interesting thing, and politicians are even more interesting. It's difficult for them to give up. It's their office. They ran for it. They obviously think they do a good job. It's difficult for them. And they have to be careful about not, not say to sort of ordaining their successor, because the public won't like that. At the same time, they've got to remove themselves enough so that that's their, that their successor can sprout and grow. The governor needs to remove himself a bit from Kim so she can do that. Does he have to hold the tape measure? No, he doesn't. <laughs> she will. He doesn't.